The upcoming Thanksgiving weekend is a chance to slow down, but also talk to loved ones about thinking fast, as in the four warning signs of stroke, F-A-S-T, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and time to call 911. A stroke is a brain attack and can happen to anyone, including young adults. Jacob Kittlestead shares the message of a stroke survivor six years after her life took an unexpected and dramatic turn. Josie Rupnik says the cane she uses isn't her favorite thing. I wear an AFO on my leg, which is a brace. Otherwise, I can't actually really walk well without it. Her left hand is also a work in progress. I, don't, I have to like stretch it out in order for it to even open at all. Otherwise, it's pretty much just in a fist the whole time. It's frustrating, she says, to not have complete control over the body she once used to bike hundreds of miles or show off volleyball skills as a coach. And it happened without warning. It was a little over six years ago. I was 36 years old. I had just returned early in a week from a road trip, 16 hours from Pensacola to Milwaukee. And at the end of the same week, I had a funeral to attend. Unfortunately, my uncle had passed. As I was walking around in the chapel, I just all of a sudden, my entire left side of my body just went so numb that I could barely move. I, it was almost like you couldn't lift it if you had pins and needles times like a million. And I was, I looked at my family and I just said, something's wrong. I can't feel the left side of my body at all. Within minutes, she was at St. Luke's given vital medications, but also a surprising diagnosis. And it was discovered in the ER that I had a hole in my heart, which was congenital and I had no clue it existed. Never had any symptoms. And then all of a sudden, they just assumed that a blood clot had formed in my leg on that road trip. And a piece of it could have broke off and went directly through the hole. and blocked my carotid artery and that's what caused the stroke. I kind of joke with people because I feel like growing up, we've, I've never even knew anyone who had a stroke and most people think it happens to older people and which probably does. But the funny thing is I think when, when we hear the word stroke, people are just kind of throw it out in joking terms like, oh, you're going to get so stressed out, you're going to have a stroke or things like that. And that's the only extent I've probably ever heard of the word. Fortunately, she didn't have speech or cognitive issues still rehab would be a full-time job. She would at first spend six to eight hours a day in therapy. Even now, she gets regular injections from something she was surprised as a treatment, Botox. For example, my elbow, my knee, my ankle, things like that, like they don't move. They're like almost permanently locked in a position because whatever happened to the cells that were, you know, that died in my brain, it just doesn't give a signal anymore for those to like loosen up or move. I can't use my left arm at all. I mean, my arm and my hand don't move. I mean, I can move it very slightly, but no grab, no grabbing or releasing. But she's reclaimed her life in many ways. One, she's employed, and two, she's setting new goals for herself. Whether that's the reward variety, looking ahead to vacations, or preparing to use the new three-wheeled bike modified for her use. When you start feeling better, everything just opens up. It's like a whole new world because you're like, wow, I didn't realize I could be happy again, you know, like that, so.